Salutations, dear viewers. You're on with the vast nexus. Nex of the vast nexus. Sorry, a little off today. Um, and we're continuing this month of Half-Life with uh, Half-Life Decay. Now, Decay was originally released as a PlayStation 2 exclusive expansion. And you have two choices of how you play it these days, either with the PlayStation 2 title, or there was a mod created for the PC version of Half-Life that you can play. I'm using the PS2 version because I actually have a library of PlayStation 2 titles that I want to LP because, um... Despite the reputation of that console and its games library not being the best, I have a lot of fond memories of it. And critically, uh, while I could have gotten the PC version working for this, this was my first exposure to Half-Life. Uh, I first played it on the console because, yes, I can hear the groans from all the PC players that I used to be a console peasant, but yes. So I first experienced Half-Life on the PS2 version, and so here we are on the PS2 version playing Decay. Now, as you can see, I've already gone through it because in order to unlock the bonus mission, Zen Attacks, you need an A rank for at least one of the characters on every mission, and I've already unlocked Zen Attacks. I didn't get an A rank there because that mission is extremely difficult. But yeah, um, I've talk your ear off enough, let's just get into it. Also, if you notice the resolution is terrible, that's because, again, this was intended for a PlayStation 2 that would probably be pumping through a, a CRT monitor. You know, those giant lead-ass TVs from back in the day. Good morning, Doctor. Doctor. Looks like you two are right on time today. I'm afraid there's been some trouble with the system, so you may have been deleted from the security database. If you follow me to the door, I can get you inside where you can straighten it all out. So I guess today is the big day, huh? The big guy was pretty excited when he came in earlier. He was talking about the new guy, Dr. Freeman. I just hope everything goes well today. Yeah, if you're playing by yourself, All right. this should only you have to toggle between the two characters, because the AI for the character you're not inhabiting will shoot, but won't move. I can't, like, there you go. tell See Gina you to follow me and have her follow me. I have to physically move her from area to area. Good morning. They're waiting for you in the control room. Oh, well, I'll get the door Do for you. They should be able to get you back into the security database system. in the next room. <laughs> Greetings. It looks as though your data was lost in the system failure this morning. Not to worry. I can re-register you at this station. Step into the booth one at a time, and I'll start the procedure. Please be still during the procedure. Don't worry, Dr. Cross. It should only take a few moments. Yeah, you'll notice they uh, have their hands up. That's because the character's basic standing position is supposed to be holding the crowbar. Please don't move while I scan for re-registration into the security database. It will be over before you know it, Dr. Green. Now, aiming in this title, I don't remember it being as bad as it seems now. But expect me to be using the lock on a lot because it's hard to aim with the stick. I don't. Maybe I'm just too used to mouse at this point. Let me get that door for you. But yeah, in Half Life and indeed in Black Mesa, because that's what all you will have watched. Um. There are two HEV suit containers that are empty when Gordon goes to collect his hazard suit, and the idea being that uh, Dr. Cross and Dr. Green were the ones wearing those suits. Now, if anybody recognizes Dr. 
uh, Dr. Cross, she is the Hazard Course Tutorial Lady. And there's the G-Man. So yeah, I've upped, like, analog sensitivity, I've downed sensitivity, nothing seems to work. This seems to be the best that I can get. It's slow to turn around, but I don't lose too much precision. Now, it is, of course, clumsy to be, oh, like... hello, ladies. It's good to see you. It is clumsy to be hot-swapping characters like this, but it's nice yes. that... This all looks nominal. It's nice that a game that was intended for cooperative play actually had, um... an option for... you know, single player, in case you didn't have somebody else locally, because this would be local multiplayer. Ah, hello, doctors. It's nice to see someone is on time today. Dr. Freeman is running late. Again. Honestly, I do not understand what kind of season that boy. Anyway, let's get started. When Dr. Freeman is ready upstairs, they'll want to begin the experiment, so you'll need to retrieve the sample, Dr. Cross. He should look familiar to all and of you. Dr. Green into the test Dr. Chamber. Keller. Ah, uh, hello, Dr. Rosenberg. We're sort of in the middle of something right now. So I've been talking to Harold. He seems to be under the impression that you're planning on running the anti-mass spectrometer at greater than 90%. You realize there is a reason for the safety buffer. I understand your concern, Doctor, but the Administrator was quite well here. The Administrator is a bureaucrat, not a scientist. I did not design this equipment to be run at such high intensity. This is not your decision. Now, if you wish to stay and monitor the experiment, so be it. Otherwise, you can go back to your little labs over by the train yard. That's a nice blue shift reference that he'd be in the train because yard. the sample storage area is through the door here. Hey, Dr. Green, we need you in the test chamber. We'll monitor the experiment from here. Dr. Cross access granted. Ah, it's good to see you. If you would be so kind as to push the sample into the lift, we can start the experiment. Oh, there it is. Where'd that come from? So yes, in Blue Shift, you can see Dr. Cross pushing uh, the sample carrier. And so here we are, pushing the sample carrier. Not getting up. Maybe you should try the little blue button. No, theoretically, this is impossible. Mm, right. Something must be jammed. See if there's anything interfering with the lift machinery in the test chamber below. I'll continue trying to operate the lift. Granted. We'd like you to bring the anti-mass spectrometer online and take it up to 80%. If I'm doing this, what were those guys in the control room doing? We'll take it from here.
Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Please, work as quickly as you can. So right upstairs, I guess Gordon is in the barrel, doing his bit. Probably, but I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no, it's well within acceptable bounds again. Sustaining sequence. I've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you any moment now. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Yes, we are running with the high def models again because that's what was in the PS2 port. And unfortunately, there's no actual difficulty slider. So this is all going to be normal difficulty by default. Now, getting that A rank requires um, a bit of effort on the grounds that um, you have to avoid taking too much damage and eliminate a certain number of enemies. The amount of enemies you have to eliminate and the amount of damage you're allowed to sustain varies based on which level you're playing because Decay is sort of unique among the Half-Life levels in that it doesn't have that unbroken narrative. So, basically, we're, ta we're tackling this like an old-fashioned game of level after level. Now, if you don't want your AI ruining your accuracy rating, if that's even possible, I don't know, um, switch them to the crowbar. So right now, we're just trying to get back to Dr. Keller and... Dr. Rosenberg. It's all right, ma'am. I got it. I don't think they're going to stop spawning. That's one less call. Well, 
That's a cheap shot. door? Yeah, wrong door. So yeah, we have a Beretta instead of a Glock again. We'll be getting an M16 later, although with its own ammo pool and a bit of extra punch. Yeah, I think that's part of the problem with the accuracy, is that the AI uses the stupid rapid fire, which can hit the broad side of a barn... All the head crabs are cheap shots, apparently. So yes, we have a lock-on mechanic, um that is supposed to essentially be an early attempt at aim assist, considering this was a console port of a PC game that has, you know, two axes of aiming and three dimensions. Now here's a nice touch, and something I didn't realize the original Half-Life didn't have. The health stations are now animated. So the charge stations, it's a, a nice little touch. And we made it. So, first level, nothing too complicated. Uh -huh. Oh, thank goodness you've survived. Those HEV suits of yours are well designed, Dr. Cross. Doctors, we have formulated a plan. You must escort Rosenberg to the surface, help him call for help. I couldn't possibly make it in my chair. I'll stay behind and assess the damage to our equipment and the extent of the cascade. Maybe I can find a clue as to what went wrong and how we can... I don't things. like the idea of leaving you here, but it seems we have no choice. Let me activate the service lift. There's a shortcut through the training area that will get you to the surface. Good luck. All right, let's go. So yeah, this is handled episodically as missions. Oh, I actually got the high score there. Or no. How'd I get more elims last time? Uh, but now, hazardous course. So, I do like the notion of integrating the hazard course as an actual playable map. Here is where we start to see a bit of the having to have both players work together. To some extent, Half-Life Decay... Despite what Dr. Keller believes, our only concern now should be for the people trapped inside Black Mesa. We need to get to the surface to reach the satellite communication equipment. Once they know what's going on, I'm confident they'll immediately send the military in to rescue us. There's an elevator nearby that will take us up to where we need to go. Follow me. You know, Rosenberg, it's because of people like you the Combine invaded. Let's not fix the problem, let's just run for our lives. Damn, it seems the elevator controls aren't functioning. There is a maintenance area below us. I think perhaps you can get the elevator working from down there. You'll have to make your way through the hazard course to reach the maintenance area. I know I don't have to remind you that your hazard suit will protect you, but I think I'll be safer if I wait here. So yeah, not only does Rosenberg just cut and run when the whole Black Mesa thing goes to hell, he's also, um... Oh, speaking of Dr. Cross... The first move we will practice in the hazard course. Hang on, let's see if I can get a side by side in frame. Attempt to get over this set of pipes using only your run and jump commands. It helps to get a running yep. start. 
Watch me and then try it yourself. Watch me and then try it yourself. Yeah, the hazard course ain't what it used to be. And it's handy this one doesn't require us to crouch under the pipes. Because we can't... How is there just so much radioactive waste all over Black Mesa? Does somebody want to explain that to me? Uh, yeah, Call It Green, I think, is a little axe crazy, because when she catches sight of the enemy, she kind of goes a little ape. Cross is the calm and collected one of the pair. Now we will combine skills. You will need to jump, dodge... The door is screwed. So yeah, we're leaving the hazard course. Gina needs to do a bit more legwork. Now, we can't open that door because we can't complete the challenge because one of the pipes dislodged, so we're not going that way. But we are still technically in the course. We're just, uh, taking something of an alternate path. Yeah, nothing makes you appreciate mouse and keyboard more than running this now on controller and having to the analog stick aim. It's it's bad. Especially because, like I said, this was before um, you know aim assist was a thing. So you got a lock on mechanic, but you still have to put your crosshair over the target before you lock on. So here's your warning. This is a secure corridor with auto turrets. But you couldn't figure out what that was supposed to be. So... Security override activated. Thing is, whoever hits the override gets locked in the room. Override deactivated. Turn off the security permanently. Secure access corridor disengaged. Break the box. You can see what I mean by my uh, hard difficulty playthroughs about how normal is substantially easier. I mean, I think twice in Opposing Force I was at 100-100. It was a bit more common in Black Mesa, but the difficulty was tweaked in Black Mesa a little bit. the first time, don't worry. It will come around again. during pauses rather than waiting to run out of ammunition. Why side jumping at me? What's that bullshit? Commencing sequence in five. So yeah, here's the hazard course two, shooting range. Two, one.
we still have to unlock the door. Please advance to the next target range. Okay, now Colette has to pick up some slack. And another puzzle that requires teamwork. Turn off the fans so that you can go against the airflow. Now let's get Gina into position. Because the next switch throw is also temporary. That'll reverse the airflow. Yeah, one tapping Vortigons for the shotgun. That did not ha that does not happen at, ha at hard difficulty. Yeah, they also made it so the enemies can't telefrag you anymore. If you're standing in their spawn, they just can't spawn in, which can potentially be, uh, cheesed. Did I? No, I didn't. Second shotgun in there, I should grab it. Ammo pickups can be scalped by whichever player gets them first, but certain weapon pickups are assigned to be specific to a, a player character, which means that you can't, you know, end up uh, scalping all the ammo and your buddy ends up without a critical weapon at a critical time. That's that sorted out. And now, one of the critical points about how the developers of Half-Life never necessarily intended for you to see what your character was doing. How do they look when they're going up a ladder? No different at all. They just sort of hover. Uh, it's hilarious to look at, I'm going to be honest with you. Wait a minute, is he not all the way up? I swear I interacted with the high bar and it didn't do anything. Try it again. Must be in place now. Yes, it is. Be careful. As long as those sentry guns are active, it's suicide to go out there. But it is the only way to the surface. You're going to have to destroy them. <laughs>
And it'd be nice if I had some grenades right about now. But I don't. And problem solved. Hmm, I should be able to open this door. We made it! Now, at the end of this tunnel is an access shaft that leads right to the surface. From there, we'll be able to reach the satellite communication center and call for help. Good work. I couldn't have gotten here without you. Let's go.